how I add assets and pictures to my uh, added non-Steam games. As you can see, Simu, Discord, Emulation Station, Plex, that one's default, Spotify, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Zemu, like they all have like a custom theme. So I'm just gonna do a quick video to show you how I do it for OBS Studio. This isn't really working in Steam OS just yet, but I'm just preemptively adding it to my setup. So when they do support it, when there is, you know, crossover support for it, um, I'm ready to use it and utilize it. So the first thing we do, Let's go to uh, Firefox or whatever your browser is, and then we're going to go to steamgriddb.com. So steamgriddb is the website that everybody uses to find uh, the assets, the cover arts, and stuff like that. So we're just going to do OBS Studio. And we'll find it, and they have all the assets and stuff for it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open my directory my dolphin uh, I have some examples in here but we're going to go to pictures because I made a fo folder here steam assets I'm gonna create a new folder here called OBS and this is just where we're gonna save all the photos and stuff so we need one for the header so I just like to file save image as and I like to name them all accordingly so we're gonna go back to steam assets OBS and this one is just going to be called OBS, uh, I forgot what this is called, Hero. So now when we go back into Steam, right click, set custom background, find where it is, it's, it's home deck. Like I said, I put it under pictures, Steam assets, OBS, Hero. Boom. So that's that. Uh, now we're going to go, I usually go in order, so here's the Hero. That's the one that we put for the background. The grid is the long horizontal image that is your last played, as well as the cover art or box art. That is what's included in the grid. There's two assets. So we're just going to start super basic. We're just going to grab this, save image as, call this one OBS uh, artwork, or not artwork. Um, yeah, artwork. Sorry. Artwork. And then we also need a box art one. So I'm just going to take this one. Save image as OBS box art. So now there's, there's four assets that you need. You need the hero, the box art, the artwork, and the... Actually, you need a couple. Uh, the logo and icons. So let's just grab this one because I kind of like this one. Save image as this one is called OBS logo. And then there's one more, which is the icon. Download, save image as OBS icon. And that saves as an ICO, which is an icon file. But now that we have everything, we can close this out. Right click here, set custom logo, OBS logo, boom. Then we right click here, properties. You can change this title to just OBS or OBS Studio, but I click here. Find the folder again, which is deck, pictures, Steam assets, OBS. You gotta change this to all files to see the icon file. Press OK, boom, close that out. Let me go back to our library. Here's OBS Studio. You right click, manage, set custom artwork, artwork, boom, so that one's figured out. And then uh, the last one, you actually just scroll down all the way down. This is in alphabetical order for the cover art. So we're in D, we gotta go to O. And it'll stick out like a sore thumb, OBS Studio. I'm missing a couple. Uh, manage, set custom artwork. This one was box art. Boom. And now we're done. So now OBS Studio has all of its assets uh, 
set up for it, just like all the other ones. And that's pretty much how you do it. The website is uh, steamgriddb.com. Um, and that's how I do all my custom stuff. And then now when you go into the Steam OS and you press the buttons and you go over to your favorites to see your library, all of them have assets and media attached to them now. But we do it from the desktop. Thanks for watching.